let's talk about Wildwood. So I'm sure you guys have seen the video. It came out today or earlier, depending on when you're watching this or talking about it. But we've learned that the Wildwood is in a diamond shape. And when you go into the Wildwood, you don't know where you are. You have to run into a diamond. You're either going to go north, south, east, or west. And it's usually a problem. And usually a lot of people just realize that without the refills, they're not getting a lot of Wildwood juice. And they really don't know what to do or how to do. So today we tested a bunch of different things to attempt to increase the length of time that we are in the Wildwood. Now, one of those things we're going to show is using Frostblink. Another one of those things is going to be using Lightning Warp. But to kind of like get into it, I have six burial chambers that we're going to run just for Wildwood's sake. We're going to go in, we're going to go out. We're not going to do anything but the Wildwood. We're not going to run and clear the maps. We just want to talk about how we can increase the length of time that we're in the Wildwood and the amount of Wisp that we're going to get. Now, when we go into the Wildwood, usually we're going to start off by looking for a Wisp Trail. And you'll notice as soon as you start walking, a lot of the area around you starts getting revealed. And as you start walking, you'll see like if I come over here, a little bit of this is revealed. If I come over here, a little bit of this is revealed. And, you know, we're just going to like... See, like, we act like you come over here and it just starts revealing this. So if I take a step here, it's revealing this over here. And a lot of that makes the Wildwood in itself very interesting. If I go over here and walk, we're just pretty much revealing a lot of extra map. And it becomes relatively interesting because you just run out of juice in the Wildwood relatively quick. Now, if you follow the path and you grab the Wisp, it's usually really easy to just like as you see here, grab a bunch of extra wisp and pretty much be good. Now, I'm now there's a refill there and a refill there, but for this test, we're not going to take the refills, right? And now we know we're in a diamond pattern, so we're going to come up this way. Wow, this map would have been insane if I would have just taken the refills. Okay, perfect. So we've run out of wild juice and we've gotten mm, a little under 3,000. If I run all around, we'll get 3,000. So we're going to cough this map up to 3,000. Now, the reason why this is important, and the one thing that I want to point out is, if you notice as we were walking in the Wildwood, we were revealing a bunch of extra area to the left, to the right, depending on which way we walked. And that little bit of tiny extra area that you reveal is actually using up your Wildwood juice. So you see... There's an invisible bar, but we have all this field of visibility. And the more of the Wildwood that we reveal, the less of the field of visibility. Now, according to Twitch chat and according to YouTube and things that I've seen other streamers do and things that like my playgroups are doing, one of the things that they have mentioned, and I tried this today, is to stop walking in the Wildwood altogether and to literally just blink your way around the Wildwood. Now, you'll notice right away... We'll wait for the ignites to go. You'll notice right away, if I blink over here, I didn't reveal all this extra area. If I go over here and I walk, it starts revealing extra area. So if I blink over here, right? If I blink over here, only this area was revealed. But if I walk, this is up here is revealed. So now what I do is if I start just blinking around instead of walking, and you can go back and compare the last thing to this one. You'll see right away, even without refills, just how much longer we can spend inside of the Wildwood because of the amount of distance that we can cover with each blink. And you'll notice that you reveal less and less of the area while blinking. So I didn't take that on purpose. So here, we'll, we'll show you again. So if I go into the Wildwood. If I go into the Wildwood and I start walking, you'll see. Well, let's actually find Wisp. If I go into the Wildwood and I start walking, you'll see it's revealing all kinds of area all around me. And I'm just getting all kinds of extra area. But now... If I start blinking, specifically blinking, it's revealing less area around me. 
and if you say things like oh hey doesn't this just make your map time take longer it does but it's worth it because you're guaranteeing longer time in the wildwood so you see right here how thin this pathway is. so you see right here just how thin this pathway is right and if i go here and i start blinking once again this pathway is pretty thin but if i come over here to a new area and i start walking this pathway is really large and you can see the difference right here so this is a really large pathway and i come over here and these pathways that i ran or, or blinked around in are really 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 thin so the argument becomes that instead of walking all around the wildwood if you start blinking you should see a drastic increase in the amount of time that you spend in the wildwood now i know the couple of examples here are like a little foobard because we spent more time talking than actually doing the the thing and just showing for like sake but during testing earlier it was really good like on stream so if we go one more time to the wildwood and we change it up now i'm currently using where is it frost blank of wintry blast and i'm going to change this to lightning warp my cast time with lightning warp is a little bit slower but you'll notice right away that i can actually just get infinite more distance using lightning warp and you can see behind me the area is not really being revealed and the amount of room and movement that i get to make is actually kind of nuts the only hard part after you realize that you can just blink everywhere is just learning the wildwood and where all of the events are so like that event there instead of running around so like a really good example and this is something that i see a lot of players do so we just revealed this event right and there's a lot of wildwood juice here so instead of doing this event and like gathering up all of the juice we're just going to kind of see where the wisps go and we see they don't go up there right so we just see where the wisps go and we just like take a hike and we just go start exploring other areas and even now in these last couple of tests you see just the amount of extra distance that i can cover using what is this lightning warp there's just something to think about something to like maybe help you get more wisp or just like spend or increase your time in the wildwood the biggest thing that you need to learn see I, I i ran out of time and room because i kept blinking into dead ends because i didn't know which way the triangle went because i wasn't paying attention the biggest thing to take away from the wildwood is to know that all of the events are in four corners there's one in the north one in the south one in the east and one in the west and what you need to get good at now is maximizing your amount of time that you spend in the wildwood and the amount of time that you essentially just like move and get wisp the more wisp that you get the more loot that you get from all the juice that you'll get the harder the map that it will become so forth and so on but you really just want to spend time learning how to navigate the wildwood and just pretty much don't walk if you can avoid it and you can use a spell to just kind of get around you should really consider using a spell to get around because you'll just be able to get way 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 more distance than you would normally because of just how the area of the wildwood is revealed and we're purposely skipping these two so that i can just show you guys just how long the average is that you could spend in the wildwood and we're not really going for high numbers here what i'm trying to showcase to you is just how much extra distance that you can cover blinking around versus walking now this might all be pseudoscience this might be all insanity and i might just be a crazy yapper on the internet but from a lot of testing it feels that just you know not running and blinking around might actually be like the thing to do and if you think i'm crazy or if it's worked you know try it let me know but it might be just something to look into for now friends I'm going to go get this video out to you guys. See you in the next one.